It has 10 permanent members. You will see that unfortunately we are one of them. Uh, so you have those 10 nations. Here, here you see the, the red are, is where the 10 nations come from. They're the 10, 10 member states. You also have six associate member states, five observer countries, and seven associate partner countries. The iron mixed with clay. Very interesting, isn't it? But, not only that, but if, if this empire takes over the world, well, they're ready already, because the world has now been divided into ten areas as well. And has been since the 70s. The Club of Rome, very, very powerful group, actually had the, uh, the world divided into ten regions. They offered it to the UN. It was originally called the Plan of the Ten Kingdoms. But the UN just changed it and just said, well, we're, what we'll do is we'll, we'll change it into, you know, we'll just divide the world into ten. It's used in banking and computers now. So this cannot be coincidence. You and I are witnesses to the faithfulness of God and the trustworthiness of the Bible. You cannot dismiss these events. You cannot dismiss these facts without getting your brain out and putting it on the shelf. You can't do it. If you dismiss these facts, you do so not because of lack of evidence, because the evidence is there, right before your eyes. You refuse to believe as an act of the will. You willfully dis disbelieve, not because you've got no evidence, but you willfully refuse to, to believe it. You refuse to believe it. Now, let's continue. The Bible says that Antichrist will appear after the ten nations or regions are formed, and he will rule the empire and eventually the world. Well, we see the ten are here today. Former Belgian Prime Minister Paul Henri Spark once said this, We don't want another committee. We have too many already. What we want is a man of sufficient stature to, lead, to hold the allegiance of all the people and to lift us out of the economic morass into which we are sinking. Send us such a man, and be he God or the devil, we will receive him. I think Mr. Sparks' uh, prayer is going to be answered, but it won't be God, it'll be the devil incarnate in the Antichrist, because they're just preparing the way. Well... Is there a man in charge of the ten? Yes, there is. His name is Javier Solana. He was elected, would you believe, on EU recommendation number 666. <laughs> and he was also elected on um, article number 666. But look how, let's just look at how powerful this man is. He is the High Representative for the Common Foreign and Security Policy of the U EU. He's the, as I say, the High Representative for the Common Foreign and uh, Security Policy of the EU. He coordinates the European Security and Defence Policy. He's responsible for the European Special Representative. They are the ambassadorial types around the world who, who represent the EU. He looks after them and supports them as well. He is Secretary General of the Council of the European Union. He is Secretary General of the Western European Union. He is President of the European Defence Agency, he is a foreign minister of the European Union, he is a member of the Spanish chapter of the Club of Rome. Now as Secretary General of the Council of the EU, this High Representative, Javier Solana, examines and prepares most decisions before they are presented for decision. In other words, he prefer, he pre yes? I bet you don't know Javier in Spanish. Yes. With an X. Yeah, Javier. Xavier. 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 Yeah. Xavier. Means saviour. Oh, thank you. Well, there you are. This lady here, his name actually means saviour. Saviour Solana. Wow, <laughs> man alive. <laughs> that is scary. It means save saviour Solana. My, that's, that's made my knees go quite funny. Um, <laughs> But, and did you know, he actually prepared the document that elected him to his position. He prepared it. Does he, and, and he is in charge of the Western European Union, as you've already seen, and the Western European Union is the military wing of the EU. 
and I've said the Antichrist must be in charge or overseeing the military. He, the Western European Union is the military wing of the EU. Um, here he is, arriving at number 10. Um, he's on June, July the 13th. He's on his way to the Middle East. Javier Solana, I'm going to say Mr. Solana. <laughs> Mr. Solana was the man who the West sent to Iran to try and persuade them to stop you know, working on their, their nuclear, um, their nuclear uh, program. Thank you. He, he went out to persuade Iran to stop working on their nuclear program, which they didn't. When the recent troubles started in the Middle East, Mr. Solana was the first diplomat to fly into the Middle East. When he flew into the Middle East, they said all the fighting stopped, the rockets stopped. When he flew out of the Middle East, it began again. As soon as he left the Middle East, it was as if everybody started to quote scripture. You know, I said that that when the Antichrist comes, he's going to make this seven-year covenant agreement between Israel and the Arabs. As soon as he left, the Prime Minister of Israel came on the TV and said this, We seek a covenant of peace. We seek a covenant of peace with the Arabs. That's immediately after Mr. Solana left. And then dear Condoleezza Rice went on Fox News, and said, you are now witnessing the birth pangs of the new Middle East. Well, the Bible says when they are saying peace and safety, sudden destru destruction is going to come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So we're getting close. You know, your own Prime Minister, our own Prime Minister, Tony Blair, the Bible says in Joel 3 that God is going to judge those, God is going to judge those who divide the land. Tony Blair stood outside number 10 and said to the press, I'm pleased to say that I was instrumental in persuading George Bush to divide the land. We are coming right into judgment. Now, uh, before, in the early days of the conflict, Condoleezza Rice was saying no ceasefire until Hezbollah is disarmed. No ceasefire until the kidnapped soldiers are returned. None of that has happened. Hezbollah is still armed and the kidnapped soldiers are still missing. Suddenly, Miss Rice changed her mind. Why was that? She had dinner one evening with Kofi Annan and Mr. Salana. From then on, she was all for a ceasefire and the, e the EU, UN troops going into the Middle East. Here is a photograph soon after that dinner when they went into, uh, I think they went into uh, Indonesia or somewhere, Malaysia. Who would you say at that moment is in charge of that conversation? <laughs> I feel sorry for Ms. Rice because she's supposed to be a Christian lady. Her father is a Presbyterian minister. So she knows her Bible. And many people are saying that she's going to be losing her job soon because uh, she was all for Israel, Israel, you know, no ceasefire until they get what they want. Now suddenly the poor girl has changed her mind and they look, they're actually calling her a lame duck, which is sad really. They're, they're forcing her to do, I think, what she doesn't want to do. But what about the covenant? Does the Western European Union or the EU have a plan for a covenant? Well, yes, it does, and it seems to be Mr. Solana's brainchild. Daniel 9.27 says he shall make a firm covenant with many for one week. That, again, is a week of years. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. That's on the, in the temple. He will stop the sacrifices in the temple halfway through the seven years. And upon the wing of abominations shall come that one that makes desolate, even unto the full end, and that determined shall be wrath poured out upon the desolate. Mr. Solana says he has a European neighborhood policy, and he said this will not be a cosmetic initiative, but one that over seven years will offer several hundred million euros to those countries that are making the greatest efforts. Where, where is this area? It's all across the old Roman Empire, down through the Middle East, Israel and their neighbors, and along North Africa. Uh, 
where the old Roman Empire was. All those nations are involved in the European neighborhood policy. And please note, there is a midpoint pause in the seven years to check on progress. When does it start? Next year. That's a bit, isn't it? That's a bit close. Here is a map of, uh, at the top you see the old